All right, guys. I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm gonna ask you all a question, and we're gonna go around and just give our individual answers. Is that okay? All right. Um, there is like a, a school policy about how if you're late and then you you come like past eight twenty, they're gonna take five points off like the class that you're taking basically. So like what they don't understand is that if the person like is like an like have a problem and then they realize that it's eight fifteen they're gonna be like oh I'm gonna be late to school and then like if it's eight twenty then they're gonna take five minutes off then they're just not gonna come to school at all. Another policy I think that needs to be changed is dress code. Dress code is for girls and guys, but it's mostly focused on girls. And I think that um, the administration needs to find a way to not make us girls change what we wear but like talk to the guys and have them change their mindset because you can't tell me that i can't wear an off-shoulder shirt because it's distracting so my shoulders are distracting somebody in class like that doesn't make sense i feel as if administrations prioritize the wrong kinds of education i don't think schools should require physical education classes and not uh, more life school oriented classes like finance or uh, just more general life school classes, things that will actually help uh, students in very concrete ways after high school. So I feel as though schools like in general should be more accepting of their like student body. They shouldn't stereotype one group um, and think that they can't, um, they're not fit to be in certain classes while other groups are more fit. To go on, on what Bennett said, I would say life skills. If high school is something that's supposed to help you for your future, I kind of feel like more stuff uh, beyond academics should be included in it because some kids go out like go out after high school and they're like clueless on what to do and what life is actually about. I'm in college right now and there's still important things that I should know that I do not know. Because I should have learned in more structured in a structured way. I don't know how to get an apartment. I don't know how to do my taxes. I don't know how to do all these things. And these are classes I feel like I should have taken in high school. I had to write a resume at home on YouTube. You know, that's sad. It's a sad thing, but it's reality. You know, and I shouldn't have to rely on YouTube and other places where we have an educational system put in place for me that should be benefiting all aspects of my life. No, I'll take an example on guidance counselor. There's some student, if they have a problem and then you go, you'll be like, you can go talk to the guidance counselor and then their answer is always going to be like, ah, they're not going to do anything because they know that they're going to be like, oh, I can't do anything. It's against the school laws. I can't do that. That's the policy and stuff. Like they should try and change because they're your student. Like if you're supposed to guide them, then like you should try and be able to like put yourself in their shoes. It's been almost three years since I've started high school and I would say like I've never, um, in my whole high school career, I've never willingly um, gone to the guidance counselor for help, like even when I needed to because I felt like some people can't relate to um, their guidance counselors either. Um, well, I think administrations, they know their students but not on good terms. Like they know the kids that are always in detention they know the kids that are always getting sent down to the office and because they know them like that the relationship they have is horrible or the relationship they have it's not there it's just like oh that's just so and so he's always in detention students in high school are should be treated the same no matter if you have a good relationship or a bad relationship with the administration I feel a bit of a big part of the problem is that um, the administrators, like teachers, uh, don't have a good understanding of the fact that if they treat their students like immature children who can't make their own choices, then students will respond in that way, and uh, a teacher should reevaluate the way they're, you know, either discouraging people from taking higher level classes or. Uh, forcing people to stay in classes that they're not comfortable in. Um, I don't think that it's like the staff gets to know the students, but the students that gets in detention or has to leave or skip, they give those 
like students more attention so if you're in a good place you don't like participate in those actions they won't really help you you can ask them for help and they'll just brush it off like oh you're a good kid you should know this like you should know everything no i'm in this class to learn it from you if you fail if you were an honor and you fail it because of some like something you will get pushed down to cp and what i feel is that if something were to happen for example if something were to happen personally to me and i kind of failed and i was in honors and i failed I didn't have a say. They only just they didn't even talk to me. They didn't do anything. They just pushed me right down. My aunt recently died, and I was in a bad situation. Like, I had a test, like a chemistry test. I just didn't go to school because I know if I went to school, I would, like, literally fail the whole test. But he has different type of responsibilities. Some people are, like, working. They're paying bills. Some people, like, they just have nothing to do. They just sit at home. Some people have, like, the responsibility of taking care of, like, the house or like like sisters and like everybody is going through different things so like i think that they should like consider that a little bit and like not like judge the same but like um i agree with you because what i feel like is i went through an experience and i was having family issues at home and i had two assignments to do on the same day i went to school but I wasn't in class. I was in my house master. Um, I talked to the teacher after class and I said, I didn't take the test. I told him I couldn't take the test. And I told him, um, can I give you the essay this date and then I'll retake my test. He's like, nope, today was the test. You can't retake it. I'm just gonna fail you. And he didn't feel like my house master didn't feel that like that's an information that the teacher should know just told me, nope, you can't do it. He just didn't even bother saying, are you okay?